Right, go from looking like this to to like this, about 30 minutes worth of spray time. Well, stay tuned. I'll show you what product I use and why I use it. And of course, then one of the biggest benefits is sound deadening and heat control. Hey, glad you stopped by and get in the old Firebird Restoration Station. My name is John. This is a 1968 Firebird, referred to as the Great Pumpkin, doing a complete nut and bolt restoration here in my garage, which is now insulated and staying warm here this winter. So I'm going to keep plucking away on the old bird here this winter, try to get this thing ready for spring, for at least a paint job as I hope. But enough of all that, what we're going to get into here today is we're going to work on doing some sound deadening and insulation spray uh, on the car. This is Lizard Skin product I've used on many builds, love the results, happy with it. Uh, I'm going to show you why I use it and how it's done and how to prep the car to get this put on the floor. Now, there's other ways, other techniques, other methods. Some people just say, forget it, the factory stuff works great. A little jute padding under the carpet and then a little mat to stick down on the floor. I guess they work okay. But I really feel this stuff works a lot better. It bonds the surface, keeps it from ringing, keeps the heat from the exhaust and everything else from coming up inside the car, keeping it cooler, especially if you're running AC in your car. Because as I've gotten older, I kind of enjoy air conditioning. It works more gooder with this stuff. Um, Dynamat makes a good product. I've never used it, read about it, looked into it. Um, Cost-wise, they're comparable, but I like pulling a trigger, spraying it in and being done as opposed to cutting pieces, sticking it down and making it fit. I think this is quicker. Now, that's just my opinion. I'm not getting paid by Lizard Skin to promote their product by any stretch of the imagination. It's just what I use. I bought this insulation kit when I did the Transmarinado. Super easy cleanup. Water cleanup when you're done, before it cures, of course, but easy to maintain so i've had the same uh i guess a insulation or spray kit since like five years ago and still works great this would be car number three i'm doing with it and we're gonna do the ceramic coating and sound deadener now we're gonna put two coats here on the floor we got 24 hour wait time in between them but i'll show you how at least to do the one coating and then basically wait 24 hours repeat process but what you do first though is the sound coating first and then the ceramic or the heat uh, shield or basically do that afterwards that's the procedure by the instruction provided by a lizard skin but First things first, let me show you what you gotta do inside the car, and then we'll go from there. Well, let's get in here. Now, before you do any of the painting, any bare steel, like where I was welding, I think needs to be covered with some kind of a primer. Then any primer that's more than so many days old all needs to be scuffed. So this has all been wiped down with a Scotch-Brite pad. Of course, removed all the stickers, done that just the same. And then any seam sealing needs to be done prior to. So I got all the seam sealing done there. All the way up there and across the whole back car. I did some of the seam sealing. I don't get too carried away with that stuff. And then the same thing. If it's a silicone-based seam sealer, you need a primer. So at this point, uh, everything is all scuffed and ready to go. I'm going to tape off the shifter hole so I don't get that stuff all over my pretty and clean transmission. Uh, I did get the firewall all taped off here inside. So basically, I'm going to tape that shut. I'm going to wipe this down with a tack cloth. It's actually clean. It just looks kind of bad from overspray, but... I would say our surfaces are prepped and ready to go. Of course, you missed, I actually glued all these plugs into, I leave the dimple up. Everybody has their opinion how those go, but that's just how I think I've seen original. That's the way I like to do it. So next thing is here, I'm going to tape the shifter hole shut, and then we'll get the spray in. Okay, everything's all taped off. The seat base holes, put a little tape on those, keep some of the stuff out of the threads. Seat belt hole, same thing, I'll pop that out. Little hole here, so you get the idea. Tape up anything you don't want paint that stuff getting into. Um, it, it would probably tap out of the holes pretty easily, but I think a little prevention probably wouldn't hurt none at all here. So nonetheless, let's get this thing mixed up here. There's actually a mixing procedure. You stir this stuff up so it actually becomes sprayable, but this should be more than enough, one gallon, to spray the entire inside of this car and have some left over to hit the inside of the, I want to say the doors and the inside of the quarter panels. Pretty self-explanatory. Pour some of the stuff into the spray can here. Hook up your air hose, pull the trigger, and let it rip kind of thing. So I'm going to dump some in here. Put some cardboard down to protect the shop floor so I don't dirty it up. But you start this up enough where it actually flows, that looks pretty good. I'm not quite peanut butter consistency, but cake batter maybe? I don't know. But that should be enough there to get it going. Let's get spraying. All 
All right, so let's look like all finished and done. Yeah, so this is just the sound barrier coat so far. It kind of looks just like bed liner, more or less. And it works on the, kind of the same premise, but got everything coated all the way up to the firewall, did the whole seams, floor, everything. So basically got to wait 24 hours to put the ceramic coat on top of this. 24 hours later. Hey, so that's going to wrap us up there. Got the ceramic coat done, sound dinner coat all finished, squared away and happy and good. Uh, but of course, my weather is making a turn for the worst. The back in black high school car is getting a little wet from rain. I don't like that happening. So I'm going to pull that car back in. We're going to wrap it up here for today. But that's how you do the sound deadener ceramic coat on these cars. Pretty simple procedure, really. And it's just my preferred method because when it's done, it looks really clean. But the sad part is you'll never see it because it's under the carpet. But product works great and it's worth a couple hundred bucks to go ahead and take care of this now because it helps out the air conditioning and just even the ride quality of these cars immensely by putting the sound deadener in the bottom so nonetheless i'm gonna get my carpet back inside grab the camera for the next part of the project which i think i'm gonna hang up the exhaust on the back of the car so enough of this i need to get that back in the garage and we'll catch you guys next time